Hi everyone and welcome back to the Multifamily Foundation. It is Peely and today we're going to talk about when to say yes and how to say no. Because if you say yes to everything, and it's a, it's a school of thought. I was just reading a book that basically told me to take no out of my vocabulary and that, that right there is really detrimental. Really detrimental. No should be a frequent word that you use on a regular basis. It should be a frequent word that you use on a regular basis. That being said, how to say yes to the correct things. You say yes to those things that serve you. So for instance, customers, clients, other investors who you are seeking to raise money from, these are the people that you say yes to. And I'm not saying that you should bend over backwards for everyone. No, 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 no. It's saying no in a positive manner. So say they ask for the world, say they ask for something that you can't give them. Then you find a workaround. You say, how can I, how can I get that for you? How can I best serve you? How can I? You don't go out and say no. You give them a different version of yes. You give them a different version and work with them and try and find them the answers. If you can't get something for your, for your customers, clients, clientele, investors, tenants, then you help them find a solution. That's how you say yes to items that, you would normally say no to because no no is an easy word when you when you don't want to do something and most of the times when you say i can't it usually means that you won't and it, whether or not you can't don't have the time or you don't have you don't have the resources that i mean even that is bs because you can find it i know you can so those are the things you say yes to the things that you say no to are those things that don't serve you. So the things that don't serve me, I say no to, I say no to TV at late at night. I say no to bad food. I say no to sitting on my butt when I could be exercising. I say no to shiny objects as much as I can. And when I say shiny objects, I mean that, you know, the next best thing. I was just talking to somebody in storage units and I was talking to somebody else that does, that does mobile home parks and they're telling me how great these acid classes are. And I'm like, okay, cool. Cool. Those acid classes work for you, but they don't work for me because those are not my focus. So you say no to those things that do not serve you, that are not part of your focus. So if your focus is large multifamily, then you say yes to everything that is large multifamily. Conference, let's make it happen. Meet up, let's make that happen. You wanna have coffee? Yeah, let's do it. Let's make it happen. You make things happen that serve, that serve you best. And those are the things you say yes to. So this is Peely. Let's get at it. Let's get it done. Have a great night. Bye now.